Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to watch this Nintendo Direct Mini. Today we're going to provide you updates on previously announced Nintendo 3DS and Wii U games. I'm joining you today from a setting that we thought was appropriate for two of the games that we'll be talking about. Pikmin 3, which I'll talk about later, and Animal Crossing New Leaf, our first game today. The game has been out for a little more than a month, and the response from fans has been amazing. I'm thrilled to see so many people enjoying the game so much and I'd like to personally thank you all for your support and your enthusiasm. I have to say, I am quite happy with how my town is coming together. As you can see, I have both the Triforce and Majora's Mask, so I think that basically makes me all powerful. Knowing how much fun it is to share your Animal Crossing life, I hope you're all taking advantage of Nintendo 3DS Image Share. It's very easy to use. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, you can hold down the L and R buttons at any time to snap a picture of your game screen. That picture gets saved to your SD card. And when you access the Nintendo 3DS Image Share website through your Nintendo 3DS browser, you can upload those pictures directly to your social media accounts like Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Nintendo 3DS Image Share works with Animal Crossing New Leaf and other games that let you save screens to your SD card including Art Academy Lessons for Everyone, Style Savvy Trendsetters, and Spirit Camera. We've added it to the favorites list on the Nintendo 3DS browser, and we're also going to be sending out a notification with a direct link to the site to make it easier for everyone to use. It's a great way to share your creativity with all your friends. Speaking of sharing, Animal Crossing New Leaf also lets players share their houses with other fans via Street Pass. We want to make this feature as fun and as easy as possible. As easy as getting your morning coffee, in fact. So we have some news to share with you about Nintendo Zone. As you may know, Nintendo 3DS owners can visit a Nintendo Zone location to connect their systems to the internet for online play, Nintendo eShop shopping, or just to check for spot pass data or system updates. There are more than 29,000 Nintendo Zone locations across North America. These can be found at locations like Best Buy, Simon Malls, Future Shop, Boingo Hotspots in major U.S. airports, and at AT&T Wi-Fi hotspots, found at places like Starbucks, McDonald's, Barnes & Noble, and AT&T retail stores, among others. And in a few weeks, you'll be able to go to any Nintendo Zone location to street pass with other Nintendo 3DS owners, even if they aren't there when you are. When you or another Nintendo 3DS owner goes to a Nintendo Zone location, you'll be able to street pass with the last person to visit that location. And the next person to visit will be able to street pass with you. It's sort of like a street pass relay, giving everyone, no matter where you are, more opportunities to street pass with other players. You'll be able to get your street pass data for all your street pass games at once. So you may even find yourself going back to games like Super Mario 3D Land, Pushmo, or Fire Emblem Awakening. Visit the Nintendo 3DS website to find Nintendo Zone locations near you so you can make connecting with other players via Street Pass part of your daily routine. We'll have more details on availability soon. And of course, this Nintendo Zone Street Pass functionality will also work for Street Pass Me Plaza, which means you'll be able to collect puzzle pieces, venture through Find Me, and play the four new Street Pass games that launched in North America just last week. In Mii Force, you'll be blasting through waves of enemies with the help of your Street Pass characters in an action-packed space shooter. By joining forces with other Mii characters located throughout the stage, you can power up your shots. In Flower Town, you grow a garden of flowers and try to cross-pollinate them with the plants of the players you Street Pass to create new breeds of plants. You can also keep a journal and decorate your garden. It's a definite change of pace for Mii Force, but it offers its own unique kind of fun. Warrior's Way is a game of medieval conquest, and your army consists of the people you have had street pass encounters with. Your goal is simple. Collect more troops and battle other warlords to try to take over the world. The last new game is Monster Manor. 
In this game, you'll be designing and exploring a multi-level mansion using rooms and hallways created by gathering pieces from the players you street pass with. There is some depth to this game too, as the rooms are different colors, and aligning pieces of different colors will let you fight ghosts, while aligning pieces of the same color will let you unlock treasure chests. Your goal is to find the staircase and work your way to the top of the mansion. Not only do these games offer a lot of fun new ways to enjoy connecting with other players via Street Pass, but completing accomplishments in these new games will earn you tickets, which can be redeemed in Street Pass Me Plaza for new hats and outfits, like this one. The free Street Pass Me Plaza update is available now. These games can be purchased for $4.99 each, or all four for a discounted rate of $14.99 from the Games section within Street Pass Me Plaza. Next, please take a look at this. The wait is almost over. Mario & Luigi Dream Team will be available in stores and from the Nintendo eShop on August 11th. And on one other note on Luigi, since this is his year after all, we've just added a very special Luigi-themed puzzle panel to the puzzle swap activity in Mii Plaza. Good luck collecting all the pieces. If you're a fan of intense role-playing games, you may want to check out Shin Megami Tensei 4, which launched for Nintendo 3DS on July 16th. In fact, we decided to put together a special offer. If you purchase and register both Shin Megami Tensei 4 and Fire Emblem Awakening to your Club Nintendo account by August 31st, you'll receive a code you can redeem for $30 credit in your eShop account. It's that easy. If you already own Fire Emblem, this is a great way to add Shin Megami Tensei 4 to your collection. If you have yet to jump into the Fire Emblem experience, then this is a great time to start. Digital and physical versions of the titles are both eligible for the promotion. And while some might prefer the convenience of the eShop, I know there are some of you, myself included, that aren't going to want to miss out on the limited edition version of Shin Megami Tensei 4, which is available only in stores. So far in 2013, Nintendo 3DS owners have had the opportunity to play Fire Emblem Awakening, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, and now Animal Crossing New Leaf and Shin Megami Tensei 4. And there's more on the way, with Mario & Luigi Dream Team on August 11th, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y on October 12th, and The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds and Mario Party for Nintendo 3DS in November. Let's switch gears and talk about Wii U games. As many of you saw at E3, there is a lot of content on the way for Wii U, and that all starts on August 4th with Pikmin 3. I literally can't stop playing Bingo Battle. I've easily put in over 100 matches just since E3. I want to show you a quick peek at one of my favorite battle stages, one you haven't seen yet. 
What makes Bingo Battle so compelling is that there are so many different strategies you can employ. And different players play in different ways, so you really have to adapt to your opponent. Sometimes, I focus on growing as many Pikmin as I can first to try to overwhelm my opponent with numbers. Other times, I may risk taking a small squad to try to grab as many items as quickly as possible. Or, I may lie in wait as an opponent defeats an enemy, only to rush in and steal the prize at the last second. Plus, not only are there 12 different stages unique to Bingo Battle, but each of those stages has three different variations. And you'll need to use different strategies on each variation of each stage. It's the kind of game where every match is different, and win or lose, you instantly want to play again. But the fun doesn't end with Bingo Battle, and neither will the competition. When you connect your system to the internet, you'll be able to compare your scores with other players around the world in both single-player and co-op mission mode. And you'll be able to compare your completion times and your total Pikmin grown upon completion of story mode. The unique gameplay of Pikmin with these added worldwide rankings will keep you playing for a very long time. Between Bingo Battle, Mission Mode, and of course the single player story mode, which we released details on just this past week, I hope you can see that Pikmin 3 is a can't miss, must have game, and you can only play it on Wii U. And if you have not yet watched Mr. Miyamoto's E3 developer interview about Pikmin 3, I hope you'll take the time to do so. It's a rare chance to hear directly from him about the game, and he does a good job of explaining the gameplay and depth of the story mode and the mission mode in Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 launches on August 4th in stores and in the Nintendo eShop. Words almost can't describe this next game. So just take a look at this. Utilizing the psychic switches on their wonder pendants, wonder eyes, the special combat agents of the wonderful 100 don their sentinel suits in a mere three billionths of a second. Created in secret by the United Nations, the Sentinels is dedicated to defending the Earth from alien invasion. Unite hand! By merging their wonder energy, Special combat agents of the wonderful 100 link together in single file to form the Wonder Liner. We gotta stop that bus, dude. Roger. There's no time for breaks. Then we're just gonna have to build up the tracks and go airborne. Dude, what? Unite, build! Unite, build allows wonderful ones to instantly analyze a structure for gaps or deficiencies and synthesize the missing components. I believe we've identified this planet's primary defense and our primary target. They will bow before me, like all the rest. <laughs> Unite up! The Wonderful 101 is developed by the talented crew at Platinum Games and will be bringing Wonder Red and his team of heroes to San Diego Comic Con in a big way. You can look forward to more information about the Wonderful 101 in an upcoming Nintendo Direct that will be focused almost entirely on this game. The Wonderful 101 will be available only on Wii U beginning September 15th, and it will be followed by a series of games you can't play anywhere else. Games like The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, We Party You, Sonic Lost World from Sega, Disney's Planes from Disney Interactive, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and Super Mario 3D World, 
all before the end of the year. In addition to exclusive games, the Wii U system, with the help of the Wii U gamepad, offers several exclusive features in many multi-platform titles. Games like Rayman Legends, Just Dance 2014, Watch Dogs, and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag from Ubisoft, Batman Arkham Origins from Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, Skylanders Swap Force from Activision, and Disney Infinity from Disney Interactive each use the Wii U gamepad in unique ways and add new elements to the gameplay. The games I mentioned, as well as the titles you see here, will all be available this year. Additionally, our third-party partners continue to bring innovative and fun digital creations to the Nintendo eShop. There are three great titles launching over the next few weeks that you're definitely going to want to check out. The first is Cloudberry Kingdom from Ubisoft, a platformer designed with a fully random level generator. That means that every level is brand new and never seen before. The difficulty level can match any need and adapt to the physics of each playable character. Cloudberry Kingdom launches on August 1st. Our friends at Capcom are bringing one of the most cherished 8-bit titles of all time, DuckTales, to Wii U with DuckTales Remastered. Featuring hand-drawn animated sprites, original Disney character voices, oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once, and richly painted level backgrounds from the classic cartoon TV series, Scrooge McDuck and family come to life like never before. DuckTales Remastered launches on August 13th. Finally, a new party game from Napnock Games called Spin the Bottle, Bumpy's Party. Between two and eight players sit around the gamepad and dance, spin, grab, jump, hide, pump, pass, and squeeze their way through a series of fun mini-games. Fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, there is no kissing required. Spin the Bottle, Bumpy's Party launches in August. As many of you know, we tried something very different at E3 this year. We brought four Wii U demos to more than 100 Best Buy stores so that our fans could participate directly in the E3 experience. Fans across the US and Canada got a first look at Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Mario Kart 8, Super Mario 3D World, and The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. The participation we saw and the feedback we've received at the program has been overwhelming. I want to give a big thank you to the thousands of fans who came out, waited in line, and experienced our games. If you weren't able to participate, or if you're just hungry for a little more, then you may want to clear your weekend. As Reggie announced last week, we are bringing Pikmin 3 to more than 200 GameStop locations in the US and Canada this Saturday and Sunday. That's right, in just two days, you'll be able to visit a GameStop near you and see how the Pikmin story continues with Pikmin 3. Fans who visit any GameStop location this weekend and pre-purchase a digital version of Pikmin 3 will have access to the game on August 3rd, one full day before it launches. For more details on this program and to find the nearest participating GameStop, please visit GameStop.com. To finish, Please take a look at this.
Of course, longtime Earthbound fans will remember that when the game originally released on the Super NES, it came with this very extensive player's guide that was full of detail and strategy information to help you through the game. We're making this manual available for everyone to view online on the Earthbound website and have even optimized it for viewing on the Wii U gamepad to make it a handy reference material should you need help while playing the game. Unfortunately, we haven't figured out how to make scratch and sniff technology work on the internet just yet though. You can download Earthbound to your Wii U today from the Nintendo eShop for $9.99. Thank you very much for watching this Nintendo Direct Mini.